I was thinking of like some uh, nice things that I can make for other people during this time and I like doing kind of veganized versions of everyday treats that um, I know but a lot of Irish people don't know because they have different treats here so I figured I could make a hostess cupcake. Brian, do you guys have hostess cupcakes here? No. Like hostess snacks? No. See? So I'm going to make one so he can taste a hostess snack. Now, this recipe is pretty simple. We are just going to take my handy dandy Karen and we've got some of our ingredients all set up here for us and yeah we're gonna first start with our dry ingredients and this time we are only gonna be using our paddle attachment i got this recipe from mom loves baking this is a veganized version like i said so i'll be using non-dairy ingredients so we're going to add all of our dry ingredients to the bowl and whisk until mixed and well incorporated. So we had one and a half cups of flour, one cup of sugar that was in here that I already dumped. Then we've got one fourth cup cocoa powder. And I don't have baking soda, so we're gonna use baking powder. It's looking really good, so I'm gonna calm that down. So now we're gonna pour in our milk mixture, as I call it. So, everyone knows buttermilk, right? So a vegan version of that is you take your almond milk. I use almond milk. You can really use any non-dairy milk you want to use. But I use almond milk, and then I add one tablespoon of vinegar. Some people call for apple cider vinegar. Some people call for distilled white vinegar. Personally, it doesn't matter. In, the, in my opinion, it doesn't matter. If the recipe calls for apple cider vinegar, I didn't have apple cider vinegar on hand. I just had distilled white, so that's what I did. But it kind of makes this like, it's curdled, like. As you can see, it smells very vinegary, but this helps bind. I actually don't know what it does, but a lot of a lot of um, recipes, vegan recipes, call for it. So I'm going to add that. So yeah. I'm going to put these in the cupcake tins that I've got ready for me right here. I'm going to bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, or at Celsius, it's going to be 176 degrees Celsius, or about one second. 20 to 25 minutes. So while the cupcakes are baking, we're gonna start on our frosting. Super easy to make. I'm just gonna make um, kind of an American style vegan thing. So I'm gonna take vegan butter, about 170 grams worth of vegan butter or three fourths cup vegan butter. And then um, make sure it's soft and then we're just gonna whip it in our KitchenAid or an electric mixer. Now that it's super nice and fluffy, we are going to make it icing by adding powdered sugar or icing sugar as they call it here and now I'm almost out so I'm gonna put everything that I've left in it. This is what it looks like. Very lovely, very fluffy. And so now I'm going to transfer this into a piping bag and then probably set it in the fridge with the cupcakes when those come out. 
I have to, there's a lot more batter left, so I have to do another um, one, but I'm gonna add the ones that were in there in the fridge and let them sit. I'm gonna eat some lunch with my fiance and then I'll come back to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we have our lunch and now it is time to assemble. We're gonna start with the filling. So we're gonna cut a little hole in the middle or push down the, the cupcake around it, fill it up with that icing and make sure it's flat. And then after that, we're gonna dip it in some chocolate ganache, let that chill for about 20 minutes and then make the swirl on top. So we have these ready to go. All right, here they are filled up. So now I'm gonna just stick those back in the fridge and let them cool down even more and just make sure they don't melt. Okay, so don't mind him talking. I just dipped and now we are in the fridge for another 20 to 30 minutes to let it set and then we will do the little swirl on top and make it in. Okay guys, it took a little longer to cool down, but we're finally here. We've got it. We are at the one. So we're going to take our lovely icing and we're going to make swirls. My first one turned out like shit. So guys, this is the final thing. We'll have Brian taste it. Oh, Brian. Hey. Will you taste this? You get the ugly one. Okay. You could have told me I was gonna be featured in your video, because now I look crazy. Does that say cake? No. <laughs> I did. Delicious, babe. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Did the cream in the middle stay? Yeah. Nice. Can I get a cross section there? Wow. So, rated out of ten. Eleven. Eleven. It's really good, babe. Well, there you go. And that's me making hostess treats, and I hope you like this. I'll be making more. Hopefully, I'll get better at presentation. and follow me at all of my social media, Instagram, obviously here, Twitter, and make sure you subscribe and hit that notification down below. See you later.